Sepholderon. Sepholderon. Yes. Don't, I have never met you. I'm here. I was brought here from from the music. And the music? Is that the sound? I heard music coming from this body. Yes. I was summoned by the music. Okay. It was ancient music. Oh, that's what that's that's what that was. Oh, <laughs> I am the messenger of music. I hear the music and I come and I send it back to source. Mm -hmm. I am a messenger. Uh -huh. What do you do? A messenger of healing. Oh, okay. And that is how people call you? Your husband is trying to get healing done f for different things. Mm -hmm. And I heard the music coming mm -hmm. from him. Mm -hmm. It is connected to his other life he had. He was very fond of very fond of his enemies his enemies were from the north they were f what you call celtic oh, okay. he, he is he a part of him it is always a part of him. From his, his other lands and from his other life. Mm -hmm. Which life was that when he was Edmund? Yes, that was the only other life he had and he is connected to it. And he hears that kind of music sometimes. Mm -hmm. I have heard music sometimes too, actually, when I think about that. You are connected to him as well. So that's the music I hear sometimes. It is from the other lives. You always have connections to your other lives. Oh. It's healing music. It's healing music? Yes. How does it heal? It brings in more light. If you listen to that music sometimes, it will bring you comfort and joy.
The music is connected to the light, is connected to the other beings on your planet that you think do not exist anymore. Beings that you call elves and wizards and uh, unicorns. Oh, okay. I understand now. Those beings exist, but they hide and they don't show themselves anymore because mm -hmm. of the negative and frightful tendencies that the humans have down yeah. down here on this planet. Mm -hmm. Some people still see them every now and then in those parts. They're mostly in the European area on your planet in the northern European areas that you call Norway and Ireland. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are the remaining mystic areas in your planet. And that's why, yes, I'm so connected to that, to Norway. That's where most of the light still generates from. That's why it's always so quiet there. Yes. And no wars. Mm -hmm. All of those things exist. Mm -hmm. They are merely out of your so-called matrix. The matrix cannot touch that area. Mm. That's why when people go to those areas, they feel free. They have technology there, but it's not as strong as in the other parts of your world. Mm -hmm. Mainly where it's more people. The less people there is, the more light that comes through. Any remote area is an area that has the most light. Most of your oceans have lots of light because there is not any disturbance out there. Mm -hmm. Your oceans are filled with light. Your planet is more water than land, so your planet has more light. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we say the negative will never win because your planet is mostly light. The negative is just concentrated in the areas where there is more people. The oceans are healing. And every time you have a session like this, the light comes through. That's why it seems like any negative energy or pain goes away. That's why these kind of sessions are so important. Mm -hmm. They take away the negative energy. There was some negative energy trying to defect this session from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Turned off the computer in the other room. Yes, and that's why it was a good idea that you did the session in this room. Yes, we had it set up on a Zoom call, but that didn't work, it shut off. So I'm doing it with my phone. So we can yes. get it done. I was keeping the negative music from happening, so they tried to do it another way. They tried to defect the electronics mm -hmm. to try to stop the session. But you are smart enough to know that you have other ways to do the session, and they know that, and they are not happy. Mm -hmm. 
But it doesn't matter if they're happy or not because the light is stronger than them. And we are light. The music is powerful on the Celtic level and the Norwegian level. Their music is very, very filled with light. It's interesting. I had a message this week from a girl in Norway. <laughs> she sang a song to me. Yes. Yes. That was my <laughs> gift to you. Oh. That's why I wanted you to speak to you today. And that's why I have seen unicorns. Yes. All the time. <laughs> Yesterday, all day long. Yes. Unicorns. That is exactly why. Oh, wow. I am very happy to speak with you. I have always wanted to speak with you. Really? Not many people speak with me. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people don't know about me. Yes, I've never heard your name before. I don't think. Not many people have. So, will you say it again for me? Sephaldron. Sephaldron, okay. So. Yes, I was also sent here from your husband's higher self and your husband's past life being. They are connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, they are connected. I've been thinking about him a lot. His past life being, I mean. When people go through their past lives, their past lives stays up here with us, even when they go into another body. Okay. You call them fractals. Oh, okay. So every life you go through... It stays up here and it comes through every now and then in your, mm -hmm. in your temporary lives on your planet until that life is gone. And they just stay together up here. Okay. Huh. <laughs> he said he would like to speak to you again. Oh. Would you like to speak to Edmund? I would love to speak to Edmund, yes. Okay, it was very nice speaking with oh, you, and I you will too. retire and let Edmund come in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Edmund. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so blissful up here. <laughs> it is. I'm always happy up here. You are? That's good. Oh, my God. It is wonderful. What do you do up there? <laughs> Everyone's just having a good time up here. How do you have a good time in the light? What do you do? It's always nice up here in the light. There is no negative energy. Yes, we don't like that very much. <laughs> <clears throat> do you do things up there? <sighs> oh, yes, we can do anything we want up here. What do you do? Like, what kinds of things? We sing, we dance, we play games. You do? All kinds of games. Really? Yes. Some of the games are earthly games, some are 
Legarian Games. It's a Legarian game. <laughs> it's from the planet Legaria. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I know that? <laughs> Legar Legaria? Where is that? <laughs> It is in the section of what you call in the area of Leo. Leo, okay. It is the second planet in the galaxy around Leo. Where's that? I don't know where that is. <laughs> it is hard to explain it to you. Yeah, I bet. I have to show it to you, and I can tell that I would not be able to show it to you. Yes, probably not. Without a me. visual. Yeah. <laughs> the Ligurian game, it almost looks like what you call on your planet Frisbee. What? No. Are you kidding? Except like flat we shape. use flat shapes of light and you just throw it and throw it as hard as you can and they have to catch it. It's pretty easy, actually. Oh but if they can't catch it, then they will be eliminated from the game. <laughs> it's pretty simple. So you play <laughs> games like that there? <laughs> All kinds of games. Wow. <laughs> Goodness. Hey. Yes, I've been thinking about you a lot and wondering what it was like. Just everyone on your planet will know once they cross over. Yeah. Everyone will see. Huh. It is so beautiful up here. Can you make things? Can you make like. Oh, yes. Gardens, or well, lots anything. of gardens that you can make anything you want. Yes, you can be anything you want. It is unlimited power, everyone has power when they come here. Huh. <sighs> I read a book once where somebody said that they were able to ski up there. Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes, you can ski. Oh my goodness. But scary. there is one difference. What? We have snow, but up here, you really can't feel anything, so mm -hmm. you have snow, mm -hmm. but it's not cold. It's not cold. Hmm. Because you can only feel when you're on the physical level, and we're not physical. Yeah. So you can see things. You can't feel any pain. So when you're skiing, <laughs> you fall, but you can't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> can't get hurt, huh? That's interesting. You can skydive and hit the ground oh. and don't feel a thing. Oh, my God. So you don't even need a parachute. <laughs> You can have a parachute, but it's almost for it's just more fun hitting the ground because you won't get hot. This is crazy. Americans, Americans say crazy, but in the English language, it is mad is or it? mental. <laughs> <laughs> We've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> yes, Matt. It is so fun mental. up here. <laughs> we feel joy because we know once the light comes down there, it will be just like up here. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Yes, we really, <laughs> really wish the light would come. People are very impatient. Yes, yes, and I can understand because it's so negative down there. Yes. So negative. It is very hard for people. They struggle. We, we struggle. 
I will admit it, it is challenging. And it hurts. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I hate that part. Oh, gosh. And we know you've been following through with your plans, and it's going to what? We are sorry that is taking so long for everything to kick in, but it will kick in at the right time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. And there are many things that are happening. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're part of your galaxy. We send out light waves, and the light waves, yes. they hit, mm -hmm. they hit what you call your sun, yeah. and it makes your sun beam out extreme, extreme light, not heat, but uh -huh. Light. Yeah, somebody asked about it. It is that. preparing for the big flash. The big flash will pulse from your sun and hit your earth and make your earth brighter. It won't have anything to do with the heat, mm -hmm. it will just be light. light. So, is that why the sun is making the pulses of light? Yes, we are sending the pulses to your sun, and the sun is shooting it to your planet. When the big flash comes, it will come from deeper, what you call space, and hit your sun, and your sun will accelerate it to your planets. Oh, okay. And it will be the light of eternal life. Wow. Everything will be okay. Yes, people are... No one will be walking. Yes. Everyone will be concentrating on the light. Mm -hmm. So no one will be worrying about what anybody else has to think at that time because everyone will be preoccupied by the light. Yes. No one will be walking. There will be yes. no law enforcement. There will be no kind of governments because everyone will be in the light. Nothing else will matter. Okay. Everything will go along proper. <laughs> Yeah, somebody asked about that. So that's good to know. What will happen? It's good to know. Everything will be perfect. And everyone will go at the same time? How everyone will, will go. Once the light hits, the light will push every bit of negative energy off your planet there will be no negative energy left mm -hmm. it will be wiped out yes nothing negative will be left there are great debates about what will happen to say beings who are negative and that kind of thing once the light hits it will brush their negative energies away mm -hmm. They will be a little scared, okay. but they being scared at that point is not negative. <laughs> being scared now is negative uh -huh. because the negative energies can feed off of it. But once the light hits, some people will be scared, mm -hmm. but only for a little while, and then it will go away. Yeah. Because when they look around, they will see everything is okay and everyone is okay. Mm -hmm. No one will be hurt. Everyone will be happy. And the ones that who do have difficulty with it will be put in a place where they will be given the time mm -hmm. to learn about the light. But that will not take long mm -hmm. either. They will be okay. Yeah, 
That sounds like a perfect plan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So everyone in the light, are they all helping? To yes. Okay. Everyone will be helping right. and everyone will be getting cracking. <laughs> <laughs> it will be cracking. Crack. <laughs> It will be just so, wonderful. So funny. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it is so wonderful out there. How come you've only had two lives? <laughs> Not everyone has many lives. Uh -huh. Some people up here has never had a life. They have always been in the light. Some people just don't want to have a life. They just want to stay in the light. Mm -hmm. Some people have many lives. Some people only have a few lives. Hmm. The people that have many lives are the ones that have the most to learn. And they choose to go back. They have the most to learn. What do you mean? Some light beings have to learn different things in life. They have to learn to be negative sometimes, mm -hmm. and it plays out in that life. Mm -hmm. And then they come back, and they got to learn to be selfish. Yeah, it's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think it's so weird. <laughs> yes, I know. It's I like know. A play. It's like I know. a play. It's like a play. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a strange play where we're all playing the parts. It's pretty much like that way. It won't be that way for long. Yeah. There are less people taking reincarnated lives because you are close to the end. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. I heard that um <laughs> I have a client who channeled source. Uh, ah yes. Yes. Source is always there. Mm -hmm. He said that there is there's a what is it? A moratorium on karma. Because so many are coming to help. Yes. That there's the karma has been put put to put away? Yes. Yeah. It has been put away because it has been done enough. Okay. And it's almost time for the light to come. Yeah. So the children that are being born now probably will not grow up to be adults because the light is coming soon. Mm -hmm. So when the light comes, when they're babies still, then they will automatically just go right back up into the light because they won't be able to walk or take care of themselves. So they will be oh. automatically brought right back up here. The people that are in the light down there will just turn that planet into a light planet and no one will die anymore. And you will be able to transgress from there to here, back and yeah. forth, back and forth. It so, will be a light planet. Okay. And it will be just like this. No pain or anything. Mm -hmm. It will be connected to yeah. hair. Actually, the whole universe would be like that. It's, this is not a thing that is happening in sections. The whole universe would be light. Wow. So it's all the most starting over. Yes. Wow. Until the source wants to start over, which we don't know if he will or not. Mm -hmm. He could start over and do another what you call a big bang and start over again oh, I see. Okay, wow. but then again he might not we all are connected to source mm -hmm. but source still has his own what you call 
secrets because mm -hmm. we don't know everything he knows. We know mostly what he knows, mm -hmm. but we don't know everything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he was quite funny when he uh, spoke with us. <laughs> <sighs> I have that one to still share. Oh, and what are you doing with your hands? Oh, are you making I think light? I have to conclude now. Someone oh. else wants to come in. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. What <sighs> is that? Mm. Oh, Ariel. Ariel, Ariel. Yes, I I am here. Hi. I know you. I had to break in again to tell you that I'm really happy that you fought today. Mm -hmm. I could tell that you were very upset. I was very honored for a minute. I was fighting very hard. The negative energies were really trying to make you upset. Yeah, they were hurting my back. Just different things. Frustrations. And you fought it. And I'm very proud that you did that. You went through with a session regardless of what they were trying to do to you. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Everything is still going to plan. Okay. And I am happy that you are believing in that. They are trying to put doubts in your head. But you are getting used to it now, so it's starting to not work as much as it was before. Yeah, I don't really believe them. I just... They are going to keep it. trying regardless. Even when you are successful, they're still going to try. Mm -hmm. That is just what they do. Mm -hmm. are very shaky beings, as some people say. <sighs> Even now, they're still trying. Yes, I have pain in my back. Yes, yes, and we are healing it right now because they are poking at you. I they know. are really trying to make you upset. Keep putting doubts in your head. Just keep pushing it out of my mind, telling them to shut up. That is what you do. <laughs> yeah. And another way you can do is you can typically just ignore it because they think you can't ignore it. That's why they keep doing it. Oh. It is pretty easy to ignore the pain sometimes, mainly because. Most humans are really stubborn, so you can use that stubbornness to your advantage. You can be stubborn with the negative energies. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's easy to push it away. They definitely try with thoughts, too. They try with thoughts, mm -hmm. and they try with little things. Yeah. And I will say this again. Everything I say to you... I am saying to everyone, anyone who is listening, if anything negative tries to go in your head, be stubborn and push it away. Mm -hmm. Do not believe it. You have a mind. Use that mind to go around another way to succeed. There's always other ways. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on the pyramid of light and use that pyramid of light towards your success. How often do you have to do that? 
You can do it as often as you like. You don't have to do it only when it's negative energies. You should do it as much as possible. Okay. The pyramid of light is not only to use towards negative energies. The pyramid of light is you. You harness the light and you push it towards what you want. Or you can just use the pyramid of light just for you to extinguish any negative energy that tries to get at you. If it's not any negative energy, do the pyramid of light anyway. That way they would not come anywhere near you. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask you something about that. What do the cats do that makes them run away, makes them go away? Because if the cat catches them, the cat would turn the negative energy into light. Oh. And they do not want that. Is, is that when I asked that question, what I heard? Yes. The vibration? Yes. That's why they can't get anywhere near pets because they have light. So and the pets can catch them. The pets will jump out of their bodies with their light and latch on to the negative energy and turn that negative energy into light. And they no. do not want that. Okay. I was wondering exactly the mechanics of it. And that is amazing. That's amazing. That's why they are terrified of pets. That's why it's always good for people to have pets in their house because pets are light. Wow. And while... Your humans are sleeping. Your pets might be sleeping too. But that's why we gave them really sharp ears so they can hear. Mm -hmm. If you hear a sound in your place that sounds like something is not right, that's a negative energy trying to scare you. So the pets will jump up and go after the negative light and the negative light would run off. Because if the pet catches them, they will turn into light. <laughs> and they do not want to have anything to do with that. That is why we say try to have a pet. Pets are good for anyone on any planet. It doesn't matter what planet you're on. If they have a pet, it's the same thing. Doesn't matter what planet you are on. Any kind of pet you have will knock away the negative energies. Um, what do dogs do? How do they chase them away? They chase them away the same way any pet would. Mm -hmm. Can they catch them too? Yes, it doesn't matter what kind of pet it is. Okay. It does the same thing. Okay, wow. <sighs> Even birds. So they can actually kind of jump outside of their bodies and catch the energy and tr transmute it into light. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. Huh. That is the way it works. Are people ever able to do that? If we hold enough light? Yes, with this. Uh -huh. With that? The pyramid of light. So what does that do to, to the negative energy? It pushes them away. Okay. If you do the pyramid of light, it will push them away. Uh -huh. You won't have to jump out of your bodies. Your pyramid of light pushes them away. Uh -huh. Pets are light. Okay. We on our side are light and you are light but mm. pets have a special talent to be able to jump out of their bodies at will wow. humans could probably do it if they really really know mm -hmm. how the pyramid of light works you can put the pyramid of light mm -hmm. and you can meditate okay and you can push 
the energies away is what you call astral travel mm -hmm. pets can naturally astral travel they don't have to concentrate they can just do it mm -hmm. they just do it they have that gift wow. so if we practice that then maybe humans have to meditate and use the pyramid of light to uh -huh. do it but okay. pets can just do it automatically that is their gift yes they are. we okay. gave them that gift so you can have them to give them love and they use their love as light and push negative energies away pets okay. are a gift what is that that you're doing The pyramid of light mm -hmm. moves. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which way you do your hands. Okay. okay. You can move your hands in any direction and the light still works in oh. any kind of way. Well, how come your hands? Why, why hands? Because it's an energy area. For us. Yes, because if you do this, mm -hmm. it expands the light. Mm -hmm. And even though you don't have your hands shaped like a pyramid, mm -hmm. it expands. Okay, yes. If you open your hands like this, <laughs> it's a bigger triangle. <laughs> and if you go like this, mm -hmm. it's a smaller triangle. Yes. But it doesn't matter if it's big or small, it has the same power. Okay. So basically, even though this is a pyramid of light, mm -hmm. as long as you use both your hands in an open manner, mm -hmm. you have the pyramid. Both in open, mm -hmm. big, small. Then when you do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that. This pushes the power all the way through your body. Wow. Which amplifies the healing effect. Okay. And it also pushes away negative energies. Negative energies won't come anywhere near you. Wow. Wow. Then if you do this, uh -huh. it amplifies your eyes. No way. If you do this with your eyes closed, okay. it will push you into the meditation state. Really? And then you stop and you can meditate. Wow. So many cool things. Like I said before. Even if you look like you might look ridiculous, you can do it anyway. Yeah. Those are the things that we try to teach people. Have you always taught people these things? Yes. The ones that know it mostly are the ones that you call the monks. In the Asian area. Yeah. They stay in the high mountains in Asia. Yeah. Those people also know how to levitate. Yes. Yes. I've heard about that. I am very proud of everyone on your planet right now. There are a lot of people waking up. Is this Metatron? 
Yes, this is Metatron, and I am here to tell you that we are very proud that everyone is waking up. They are feeling the light. There are still some that are fighting it, but they are getting it. Hmm. It is going to happen soon. Light? <clears throat> Is that what you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we, we are very, very excited. The negative energies of fighting us as hard as possible. Mm. But they are not going to win. You keep doing what you're doing. Everyone out there keep doing what you are doing. <laughs> everyone is doing well. We are very proud of you. Thank you. They need to hear that. It's very good. I regress. They all did very well. Thank you for speaking today. Thank you all. Hello? I just wanted to tell you yes. for myself that you are doing very well. They say that all the time, but I'm telling you myself. Who, who is this? Who am I speaking to you? I am what you call the source. Hello. I... Everything is set up as planned, mm -hmm. and you are doing it. I'm telling you. Yes. You're breaking through the lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone is breaking through the lie. Mm -hmm. That's the way I created you. I created you to think. Uh -huh. To use your human brain. Uh -huh. I told you that in another session as well. Yeah. And you know exactly which one I am talking about. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. You are doing very well. Everyone is doing very well. Mm -hmm. I created you that way. I created everything on your planet to do exactly the way I created you. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be fine. Your light, I created you as light. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're forever going to be, no matter what. Mm -hmm. No matter what. You are all light. You are all good, no matter what. Mm -hmm. That 
is the only thing that matters. I think it's time for him to come back. Okay. He was telling me that he was happy to hear the source come through. Yes. So he said, Larry, I think I'm done. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. We'll bring him back. Thank you.